Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Mon. And I'm back! Of course I'm back! I'm not going anywhere! Boost! I'm YouTube famous now! Available in 2018, the Retro Remix. Went to a party last Saturday night, didn't get laid, I got in a fight, uh-huh, dad, AF, it ain't no big thing. Available on iTunes in 2018, the affiliate link below, right next to my Morphe code. Did you think I wasn't going to do my original intro? Okay, so yesterday I took a poll on whether or not I should get a new intro or I should keep the old. And almost 2,000... Currently, almost 2,000 people have voted on the poll, and 73% uh, of you said, keep the old intro. A lot of people had a lot of opinions about it in the comment section, which I kind of lived for. Um, who knew that the biggest tea out there would be Peter's horrible intro? <laughs> people were like, if Annie said, if you stop your intro, I will lose my mind or something like that. And then other people were like, I can't stand the intro. I always fast forward to it. And then other people were like, do what you want. Do what you want. So I'll tell you what I want to do. Okay. Going forward. Um, every time that I do this poll, I always like, it's always a lot of people that vote on it and say it last time it was 91. This time it's 73. So basically I went from an A to a C, but I ain't got my glasses on. So I can't do math, but I think what I'm going to do is just switch it up from time to time. Okay. So sometimes I will do a very, very short intro. Other times I will do a longer intro. For example, this today. Um, and you'll just have to wait and see. Sometimes I won't do the beast. Boost! Sometimes I won't do the I'm YouTube famous now. Sometimes I just do whatever I want to do because my channel is called Peter Mon. But thank you for your input. And what it basically said to me was a lot of people really, really like it. A lot of people can't be bothered with it. And so I'll mix it up from time to time. Why not? You know, that's fun. So anyway, let's get into today's drama. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And um, I was thinking about uh, y'all want to meet up at the Chinese buffet. I don't know her. Okay, I don't eat the Chinese buffet with her. I don't know her. New shirt over on my merch. Go check it out. Have you seen my merch shop? I got all kinds of stuff on there. Not fans, although those are coming. I was going to give her a haircut, but I kind of like her. I call her Sally Sue now, and guess what? Sally Sue. I just ordered four new fans today, plus four lip scrubs from Jeffy Star Cosmetics. And uh, when my new fans come, I am going to put a little giveaway together of Poopy to Chiffon dolls and a fan that I've had, and I'm going to sign it. Because, of course, you want to sign to Peter Mon fan. Why wouldn't you? And then I'm going go to go do a giveaway over on my Instagram. So go check out my Instagram and subscribe because you won't find out when I'm doing the giveaway otherwise. And um, I am also going to do a Q&A probably tomorrow or the next day. So I will put it over on my Instagram, and you can leave your questions there. All right. Let's get right into the drama. Time stamper at 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Yeah, that is kind of a long intro. So I was strolling through the Twitter, right? And I saw this picture come up, and it was from this kid called Kevin Condra. And he is, I don't know, like, let's say an amateur makeup artist, and he's in high school. And I saw this picture, and I was like, oh, this is very a la James Charles, right? Like, is this kid coming for James Charles? Now listen, listen, okay? On the heels of my video yesterday about Shane Dawson and Bobby uh, Burns, where people were like at the beginning of it, uh, Standard Procedure made a video about this already. Uh, Bobby said this. I'm like, did you watch my video? I, I can't, like, one of the things that really irks me is when people comment and they don't watch the video, and it's so obvious that they don't watch the video based on the comment that they leave. Okay, so watch the video. You, I might address in the video what I'm gonna say, and I actually was very considerate of Bobby yesterday and said a lot of really nice things about him in the video and gave him some great advice. So I wasn't dragging him. So. Psh be gone before somebody drops a house on you. So anyway, um, but I want to say this. I'm gonna, I, this is not going to be a nasty video, okay? So just <laughs> nasty. Janet, if you're nasty. <laughs> I'm not a fool. I just want some respect. So close the door if you want me to respond. Because <laughs> prophecy is my middle name. My last name is Control. No, my first name ain't Baby. It's Miss Vanjie. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into this. So I saw this kid, and he put out this picture, this graduation picture, a yearbook picture, <laughs> painted, okay, for the gods, cake, <laughs> caked. I, 
it's not makeup, it's cake up, okay? The, it just kills me so much. It is like, I mean, I would not let these people sleep on my couch, okay? Because you would have to take some pawns that after getting your makeup off stuff and scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. So anyway, but I saw this kid and he put this yearbook picture up, God love him. And so I went to his Instagram and his whole Instagram is all makeup looks and he's really good. Like this kid is really, really good. In fact, his uh, yearbook picture, like, I don't understand this. Can somebody explain to me, okay, the contouring of the nose to the point where it's almost not even there? Hi, my name is Peter, and I contour, so you can already... I don't understand that. Why do you guys want a non-existent nose, okay? I like my nose. I mean, it's a little, you know, Barbara Streisand-ish, but I love it. So, anyway. Um, I don't care. I like flaws on people. Like this. He miser! I like flaws on people. Why wouldn't you? Okay, flaws are what make us different. But anyway, so I was looking through his looks, and his looks are really, really good. Like, he's really good. And then I went to his Twitter, and he is constantly, like, shouting out at people, like Jeffree Star and Manny and all this kind of stuff. And some people would call this social climbing. I don't know. Maybe it's a way for people to get to notice you, okay? I ain't above all that. So anyway, because he did get noticed. He did get noticed. But, you know, I really think what it is is that he's just an uber fan of all these makeup artists and stuff. And he's, a, you know, a kid that has done a lot of makeup and this was his 18th birthday that he posted it on so the picture that he posted um, was his yearbook picture and he said underneath here I have so many screenshots it is unbelievable he said on here four years of pure ugly facetune helped a lot okay and you can see on here it's like uh if, listen, I'm trying to put up some receipts up in my videos. Y'all come for me for that. I don't know how to do it. I'm not technological. I ain't got my glasses on. I can't do math. But I am trying my best. So if you see a picture in this video, you know Peter really worked his heart off. I work my ass off, Jeff, to get this picture up in there. But there it is, okay? And what makes me sad about this is I can, one of the things I cannot stand about the younger generation is when they call themselves ugly and they say things like, I'm literal trash. I'm such trash. Oh, my God. I can't stand this. It was a meme and a half. What does that even mean? I don't even like that. So anyway, I'm literal trash. I'm trash. I'm ugly. Don't say that about yourself. Don't. There are enough people out in the world that will put you down. Own your truth. Know who you are and say, I am beautiful inside and out. Say it to yourself every day in the mirror when you get up. I mean, I said it and it just came true. One day I just woke up and I was like, well, basically, I'm the movie star of the world. I'm YouTube famous. So if you say it enough, people will believe it. So anyway, he puts this picture out, right? Well, the world goes crazy. I mean, this picture has gone viral. Viral, okay? Uh, Teen Vogue posted it. Cosmopolitan. I can't even uh, pass those tests they put in there, okay? I mean, hell, he got his... It, they commented on it. Everybody in the world commented on it, okay? Well, who do you think they're comparing him to? James Charles, right? So, of course, we can't just be happy with the fact that there's somebody new out there doing something similar, right? We have to shade somebody for it, right? If you like the new one, you can't like James Charles. If you like, it's like, oh, well, you did it better than James Charles. You, like, at least you were honest about Facetune. James Charles lied about it all day long, all day long. Or, I love James Charles, don't come for his gig. Y'all, there's room enough in the world to like two people, okay? I just, I hate to inform you of this truth, but it's just the truth of the nature all day long. There's room enough in the world to like two people, okay? You can even like two people that don't like each other, but they do, okay? And I'm going to prove that to you in just a second. So anyway, this was real interesting to me how this all went down, and I'm going to read, whoo, it's hot up in here. So I'm going to, uh, if I can get back to my tweets, I'm going to read you guys what it said because it was trending on YouTube. Oh my God, look, I truly <laughs> have a Miss Van, look at this, this is so great. Hold on a second. Miss Vanjie. <laughs> I send that to all my friends. Okay, so he posted this picture, and then somebody, uh, this Lewis said, cute and both, not going to lie. And then um, somebody said, a queen, an idol, a goddess, or you can just call them Kevin Kadra. Uh, and then it's a Cosmopolitan had shown a picture and put this high school senior spent four hours perfecting his makeup for picture day. This is my thing, honest to God. I just like this is my only like side note comment on it. Why do y'all care about your yearbook picture? Hell, I didn't even want to go to school that day. I mean, and I am not proud. This is not my proudest moment. I mean, it truly is not. Okay, but my senior pictures, I was hung over and high as a kite. I was like this. I'm a, I'm a, I should have pulled that out for this video today. I'm going to pull out my senior pictures, okay? Not pretty. I've got rings underneath my eyes. I could have used a touch-up, face tune, whatever. We didn't have all that back in the day, okay? We had maybe, I don't know, some wet and wild cover girl cover-up, something like that. And my friends weren't offering it to me. So I looked like hell that day. But why do people care so much about your senior pictures? And your, who care? Who care? 
You ain't gonna care about that yearbook five years from now. So really, y'all know that this is just a gig to get more famous, right? And then this jock says, I wish my eyebrows had been this on point in my high school yearbook photo. Why? Why'd you care about your high school? Who cares about that high school yearbook stuff? I almost got to pick mine up. Um, this blog to you says, hashtag Toronto teen goes viral with ultra glam grad photo. Kevin's look reminds me of uh, new romantic bands from the early 80s. Rock on young Kevin. His picture kind of reminded me um, of a Ken doll, if you want to know the truth. It reminded me of a Ken doll, a pretty Ken doll. I mean, it was nice, okay? But that's kind of what it reminded me of. Um, and so then Team Vogue said, go off, Kevin. And this person says, y'all, if you don't follow K uh, Kevin Kadra, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but he is so pretty and his talent is unbelievable. And there he is, another picture, sun kissed, it says underneath there. The sun really is that bitch. He puts, um, I mean, on and on and on, these pictures. Okay, and then um, I do make up sometimes, haha, he replied to Jeffree Star. I don't want to say that you invented the highlighter, but you invented the highlighter. No, he really didn't invent the highlighter, but okay, because I can tell you're a super fan. He invented the highlighter. What? I don't even understand that. So anyway, so it goes in here, and it's so funny, and um, this is kind of what uh, people are saying. So they posted this picture, and then people are commenting about it, and there was like, there is no doubt denying he is very talented, but the facial hair is really weird. What? Manny Mua has been doing it forever. By the way, did you all see that Manny Mua tweeted out yesterday? Do you pronounce it Manny M-U-A or Manny Mua? And all these people were like, uh, yeah, because Peter's been doing it forever. I have, okay? I swear to God, I thought it was Manny Mua. I really did. I started watching him with his, my boyfriend video with Patrick Starr. <laughs> who is all over this Kevin Kadra's Instagram, like, 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 like. And um, so anyway, and I thought, I swore I thought Manny's name was Mua all day long. I did. Okay, so anyway, then this Lula, Lula says, I think he does not care your opinion about his facial hair. <laughs> he does whatever he wants to do with his face, and you should not tell your opinion to somebody who doesn't ask for it. Well, <laughs> uh, Lula, I hate to tell you, but that's the social media internet of the world, okay? Everybody telling everybody's opinions. Defriend me if you don't like my opinion, if you don't like my opinion. Like my opinion if you like my opinion. Like my Hashtag like my opinion if you like my opinion, okay? Sean Ripple, <laughs> a little <laughs> homage to Miles J. Do y'all remember that video back in the day? Like my status if you like my status. That is like one of the most uh, iconic. I hate the words iconic, content, aesthetic, okay? I hate them, but it is truly one of the most iconic videos ever. And then Sean says, um, dumbass, obviously he cares about people's opinions because he spent four hours putting on makeup for his high school photo. And how do you even know what he is thinking? The entire premise of Twitter is so people can share their opinions, millennial. <laughs> okay. And uh, so then Kevin said, LOL, the people that are saying my yearbook photo is photoshopped, do y'all think I took a yearbook class just for fun? I lived for this already. <gasps> It's so hot up in here. I thought that was so fantastic that he said that, okay? He's just owning it all day long. Of course it's Photoshop. Of course it's Facetune forever, right? And uh, then Team Vogue said something about him. And then he said, people keep making the same James Charles joke in my senior pick. Like, grow up. And he's basically saying, don't come for James on this. Okay, be cool about this. And I agree. Like, you know, it's totally two different kind of looks. And the, But I will say, if you go in here... Um, then, you know, if I went back in his Twitter, and I went back quite some time, because I was like, now, I feel like I kind of know this person. Well, he also got a little um, notoriety from asking his straight best friend to prom. Here's another picture of him asking his straight best friend to prom. Be my, B-O-G-E, I don't even know what that is, my best, oh, and take my breath away. <laughs> Do y'all know what a boge is? I don't know what a boge is. I don't know her. I don't eat the Chinese buffet with her. I wish I, you know, listen, I'm ready for some crab meat rangoon. I've been a vegetarian longer than God, and I am so hungry. I mean, they make some fake crab meat rangoon. What am I even talking about? Don't matter. Okay. So, anyway, if you go in here, and then, um, Oh, where was the part that I wanted to read about this? So, you know, all these people were saying stuff about this, right? And all of these people, and I think this is fantastic, right? There is room enough. First of all, if you go underneath this kid, like where he retweeted the Cosmopolitan thing, and then you go into the Cosmopolitan thread, it is really kind of sad. Like, all these people are like, he needs Jesus. Like, you know, why is he doing this? Like, he needs to read the Bible and blah, 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 whatever. I mean, can, you can't you wear the mic, can't you wear makeup and read the Bible? I mean, what do you... God ain't going to accept people up into heaven if they wear makeup. I didn't hear that rule. Is that one of the Ten Commandments? I didn't know about all that, okay? But I do think this. It is 2018. Do what the fuck you want to do with your life. I really do not. I mean, listen, I am a drama commentary channel all day long. I'm just putting my opinions out there into the world, okay? 
But I really do not understand like why people want to make it their life's mission to take down two people that are in love or some young kid that wants to wear makeup or what the ever. Who cares, okay? Let a person do what a person wants to do. A person. Let people do what they want to do. It's just not that deep, okay? The kid enjoys wearing makeup. It makes him feel better about himself. And he actually does a really good job at it. So why are we hating on that? I, I just don't. The whole idea of people hating on somebody else for something that they love, I just don't understand it, right? You know, I just, I, I really, it just like baffles my mind. So anyway, what was really interesting to me and I love was that James Charles retweeted it, okay? And y'all know I love James. And he retweeted it because he is, like, people come for James and he is really fucked up in the past and he's owned it and moved on and, you know, tried to, like, get past the, all the stuff, you know? What is this? Okay. We ain't gonna talk about Ebola. We ain't gonna talk about all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna talk about James Charles today, okay? And uh, he tweeted out uh, his picture from Cosmopolitan and he said, legend, welcome to the fam, sister, and added him, right? And what I love about this is if you go underneath there, people right away are having at it, you know? And this person says to him, he didn't Photoshop his though and lie his way onto Ellen. And then somebody's like, oh, T. And then somebody's like fainting and, you know. And then he says to James Charles, been a sister for a long time. Thank you for the support, James. And then Adela says, please collab. And, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with it. It's like, there are en there's enough room out there for more than one, you know, like, male beauty guru. And I have to tell you, one of the things that I really, really liked, and people come for Thomas Halber all the time, you know, and he this and he that and all this kind of stuff. But he tweeted out yesterday, and I'm going to list all of Kevin's information below so you guys can go follow him too. I mean, you know, like, why not make somebody's dreams come true? When, I mean, imagine waking up and your picture going viral. That's kind of some really cool shit, right? Why would we ever dog somebody for their moment? Like, don't take away somebody's moment. Just don't. You know what I mean? And this kid is 18 years old. He has his whole life ahead of him. He said, like, I'm not dropping out of college. I'm going to college. I'm not going to drop out of college to, like, uh or I'm headed to college or something to like become a makeup artist. But if that happens, if tomorrow, let's say, okay, you know, CoverGirl did it with James Charles. Well, what if, let's say, I don't know, you know, Wet n Wild reached out to him and said, hey, we'll give you a million dollar contract, start a YouTube channel, all this kind of stuff. Why wouldn't he? Why would we not want to be happy about that? And you can like James Charles and you can like this Kevin kid, okay? They're not the same person. And they may end up being friends at some point. So anyway, Thomas Halbert, he tweeted out yesterday, a shout out to all the black male MUAs. Y'all don't get recognized or appreciated enough. Post your work uh, down below so more people can find your work, provide your socials too. And there were a lot of people underneath there. And I was like, you know what? Like, he gets dogged for a lot of shit, but he didn't have to do that. And here are two young people in the beauty community that are really supporting other people, other male beauty gurus that are up and coming. You know, they could be jealous as shit. There is a lot of jealousy that goes on YouTube, okay? Like, I want you close, but not that close. Like, if you're going to come for my gig or you're going to get more popular than me, if you all don't think it goes on, trust me, it goes on all the time, okay? In every community on YouTube. But here are two young men that are confident enough in their own gig that they're, like, reaching out to, like, other people and saying, hey, welcome aboard, or, like, hey... Put your thing below so that people can find you. What? Why can't we learn from that, okay? That sometimes to help other people, it's like Miracle on 34th Street. If we don't have what you want, we'll send you somewhere where you can find it. And I think that's awesome. You can like all of these people on YouTube. I'm just thankful maybe, maybe he will get real big on YouTube. And then we'll have another beauty guru to talk about in the drama community. I can't wait. Oh, my God. And then I'll have another person I can go, I don't know her. I don't go to the Chinese buffet with her. I don't know her. If you like that, go over and buy my shirt on my merch shop. Because I ain't like these people. I'm not that big, and I wish I was all day long. Okay? I, call me a social climber. I don't really care. I'll social climb all the way to the top. <laughs> it didn't work for me in high school, but it won't work for me now. But anyway, who'd care? <laughs> so go check out my merch shop. I will be back tomorrow. Don't forget to like this video. Like my status if you like my status. And um, subscribe to my channel. I put out new content on the daily. <laughs> content. I'm a dude with a camera. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.